Hi guys, happy Monday. Hope you've all had a really lovely week. Welcome back to another Monday plan with me. This week is a free printable week and I found this one over at Counting Sheeply Blogspot, which I'm going to leave her link in the description box so you guys can go and pick it up. It's such a pretty green floral kit that you definitely want to go and check this out. I've also pulled in some skinny washi here which has got some of the pinks in and then this really wide glitter washi that's pulled some of the green in. I also used two pens I forgot to say last week, they're the same pen just different sizes and then lastly I'm grabbing my heart hole punch. So my boyfriend decided not to do my plan with me, he kind of chickened out so I'm back doing it this week but not that I mind because this kit's so pretty I really wanted to use it myself. So I'm not using any washi to start with which is quite strange for me but we're just going to jump in and go day by day. So I put down the skinny washi as a header and then I took this wide washi and started to punch some hearts out of it with my heart puncher because I wanted to create a checklist and with this kit there are no headers or washi or hot checklists and sometimes I actually don't mind using kits like this because then it forces you to create your own unique way of doing it. So this is how I created my checklist and I just write down everything that I wanted to get done. So with the thicker writing I'm using the 0.5 nib on my pen and then for the smaller writing underneath I'm using the 0.3 nib. It can get a bit tedious swapping between pens but if it's something that you want to do and you like the look of thin and thick writing together then this is definitely the easiest way to do it. The script stickers that I'm using that say film, edit and upload are from Planning Roses. So after I created my checklist I'm just moving on and putting a full box down to block off some time and then I'm just using two pieces of the skinny washi as a background behind my half box that I'm just going to flip up onto its side because it just adds a little bit more interest in my spread and then I decided to move one of the strips upwards to move my whole box up which would then leave room underneath. So I want to um, pack up some orders today so I just wrote to pack up orders and I also use one of my social Etsy poppets at the bottom and then underneath there I want to post the orders today as well so underneath I just took one of the page flags from the kit and wrote to post orders. So moving on to Tuesday, I decided to take up the header as, because the headers are green anyway and they match the kit perfectly, I just thought I would leave them all green. So I've just put down a half box and this is the last full week before my children are on half term and I've got a lot of organising that I want to get done and the easiest way for me to do it is just to split it up throughout the week. So all I've got to do on Tuesday is just go through and organise two complete drawers. And then I put down my full box and I want to do some designing. I did have a new release last week. It was these ones. These are all PCs or computers. Um, I've already got a laptop poppet set out, but this is for computers. So I just put that one down and wrote down to design. Underneath that, I just put down a pink appointment label as my son needs to take in his food tech ingredients. There is one short to-do list in this kit so I used it on Tuesday as I've got some phone calls to make, emails to check and comments to answer so I thought I would just write them all down on this little checklist. This leaves room at the bottom for me just to put my things that I'm doing throughout the day so I need to do some laundry, I need to water my plants, they're still alive. If you were watching last week, um, I've got some plants that my family just know that I'm going to kill. They're kind of waiting for the day. They are still alive and I'm really, really proud of myself. So I'm going to be sending them another picture this week. It's so sad, honestly. Um, but yeah, I just need to water plants and mop the floors. And then I'm not sure what happened here. My camera, I don't know if it shut off and I wasn't really paying attention. But I just put down that I need to organise two cupboards on this day. That's what I need to do. And I put a full box down and then of course I want to design again so I use a laptop poppet this time on a appointment label. And then underneath that I took a nail icon which is from my shop and wrote down to paint my nails. And then I just wanted to make sure all of my children are up to date with their homework so I wrote homework down and put one of the computer poppets down as well and then underneath there I've put kitchen tiles down because we need to measure up for getting new tiles to tile our kitchen. So I've got printing and cutting to do on Thursday morning so I was just seeing which colour 
matched the kit best and then I wanted to put some washi behind it. As these two boxes are exactly the same, I took one and trimmed the top off to create a washi strip and then I just stuck the cutting machine on top and then put it into my planner. Underneath that I just wrote that I want to print and cut and then I put a half box down, a pink half box and I went to put a film sticker down and realised I'm completely out of them so I definitely need to put in another order. So I picked up one of these little icons from Rose Coloured Days and wrote down to film my bullet journal video. Underneath there I just put down my full box and then I picked up these multi-colour bin icons, I think they're from Handmade Hayward, I think, and I just chose one that matched the spread to mark that my bins need to go out. I just want to take some pictures on this day, so I took a camera icon from Planning Dreams that best matched the kit and put it down. Moving on to Friday, I started with a full box at the top and then on top of that I just wrote down new release as it's my new release day. I also used one of the larger Happy Poppets from the Happy Sheet as I rarely use the big size so I definitely wanted to incorporate one because I haven't used one for so long and they're still really adorable, they're just a lot bigger. Underneath there I put a skinny strip of washi and then on top I put a planner from Planning Roses and just wrote to film next week's plan with me. And I also want to do an Insta post of my new release so I just wrote that down with a social puppet. I then used two more pieces of skinny washi with another half box that I just flipped up onto its side and then on Friday I want to finish organising and the only things that I'll have left to do hopefully if I stick to the schedule is one more drawer and one more cupboard. So moving on to the weekend, I put the weekend banner down first and then I put an appointment label down and these two puppets are actually from the worried sheet but their facial expressions were kind of perfect because my partner is working Saturday and Sunday for this weekend. For Saturday I put down a half box as I want to edit the video that I would have filmed on Friday. I also used one of my little social poppets for YouTube and then I put down my full box and at the bottom I wanted to create another checklist so I just copied the exact same thing that I did on Monday morning. For Sunday I put down a piece of skinny washi and a coffee fur sticker which is from the coffee poppets. I then put down another appointment label and I rarely use my travel poppets and they're so adorable so I used the travel or the explore pop it from the travel sheet and just wrote down to plan my London trip. We're all going to be going to London hopefully next weekend as it's my son's birthday and he wanted to go up to London and just spend the day up there. And then at the bottom there I just put down another half box and then I went back and added the little film clapper for the edit video because I'm kind of like a magpie and when I see something shining in the corner of my eye I'm like oh I can use that. So that's what happened there and then I put down one of the poppets from the pyjama sheet and wrote down for bath and early night. I've also got these quote stickers from the Ginger Cap Co so I decided to use one that says be brave for Thursday as I always get really nervous when I'm going to film my bullet journal video. I'm not sure why but I do so I've just reminded myself to be brave. Moving onto the sidebar I used my full box at the top that says secret garden. I then put down my two habit trackers 
There is a box that says next week, which is perfect for me because I have to have a next week section. So I just put a skinny piece of washi down first just to split it up and then I put my next week section down and just filled it out. And then at the bottom here I just put another piece of washi down and then she also has these little spending boxes which are such a good idea and I'm just going to try that out for this week. Then I went back up to the top and just put another piece of skinny washi down as I want to track my hydration this week. So these are my hydrate stickers from my shop, they're like in little mason jars. So here's everything that I've got left, she does have a hydrate sticker in there, it's just I decided to use one from my shop. And that was it for this week's spread, I hope you guys liked it, if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as usual if you are new then please don't forget to subscribe, I upload every Monday and then you also get the monthly bullet journal videos as well as a monthly plan with me. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Let me know what you think down in the comments, I hope you have a really lovely week as always and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!